What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of They Don't Know I Be Cooking. And today, I'm going to show y'all how to make some stuffed mushrooms. Now, this recipe is really straightforward. If you could just do me a favor and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button because I drop videos like this throughout the week, all right? And now, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I got seven large mushrooms. I've already washed and cleaned them. And now we're going to start by removing the stems. So to remove the stems, you want to gently push the stem forward and backwards and they should pop right out. I'll do this for the other mushrooms as well. And then what we're left with are mushroom caps. Now, if you want, you can go in with a spoon and sort of carve out a larger hole to add more stuffing. Uh, but in my opinion, that's not necessary. Now, even the stems are edible, so we're not going to waste the stems. We're going to dice them into small pieces and this will be part of our stuffing as well. So we're going to put the stems into a bowl and set it aside. And now we have one Roma tomato. So we'll dice this as well. And then we're going to add this to the bowl with the mushroom stems. We're also going to need one half of an onion and we'll be dicing this as well. And then once we're done dicing the onion, we're going to put the onions into a separate bowl along with some minced garlic. And the reason why I'm separating this is because we're gonna be frying the onions and the garlic first before adding in the other ingredients. Okay, so I got three garlic cloves and I got my garlic press. So we're gonna mince our garlic and then add that to the bowl. All right, so now I got my skillet heating at medium heat and we're gonna add some butter and then we're gonna fry our onions and garlic. Now you can also use oil for this, but we're gonna be using oil later on in the process so I don't want to overdo it with too much oil. And now we're going to add in our onions and garlic and we'll cook this on medium heat for about two or three minutes. Once they start to brown, then we'll add in our diced tomatoes and diced mushroom stems. Now I am going to add just a little bit more butter to our pan here. And this will cook for another minute or two before we add some additional ingredients to our stuffing. But this is looking great so far. And what I like about using the tomato is that it sort of forms a paste, uh, which makes it easier when stuffing our mushrooms. All right, so now we're gonna season our stuffing. I got one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a pinch of salt. And that salt is gonna bring out all these flavors. This is gonna taste amazing. I'm also gonna be adding some cheese to this as well. So we're going to add two tablespoons of crumbled feta cheese. So this is the first tablespoon and we'll mix this in. And then we're going to add the second tablespoon. That feta cheese is what really puts this over the top. All right, so our stuffing is now done. So I put this back into our bowl and set it aside. And now it's time for my favorite part, stuffing our mushrooms. So you want to grab a spoon and scoop up some of that flavorful stuffing goodness and then we're gonna stuff our mushroom caps. And as you're stuffing it, you wanna sort of push the stuffing down into that little hole there. That feta cheese and that tomato is kind of what holds the stuffing all together. So you should have no problem stuffing these mushrooms. Now I'm not gonna bore you with this. I went ahead and stuffed all of the mushrooms. And as you can see, these look absolutely beautiful. And I know you're getting hungry just looking at this, all right? But now we're gonna go ahead and top this with some cheese before simmering it in a pot. So you wanna grab some mozzarella cheese. And if you notice, I'm not sprinkling the cheese over the mushrooms. I'm sort of clumping the cheese together with my fingers and then pushing it down on the stuffing. Because this is freshly grated cheese, it naturally sticks together, all right? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and top the rest of the mushrooms. And then we're gonna add this to a pot with some olive oil and we have the pot heating at medium heat. Now you can also put this in the oven as well, but I prefer to have my mushrooms nice and moist, all right? So I'm gonna place them in the pot and then we're gonna cover it with the lid and that steam is gonna melt all that cheese and our mushrooms are gonna be nice and moist. Now on medium heat, it shouldn't take more than about a minute and a half to two minutes. And once you see the cheese has melted, that means they're done. And now we'll sprinkle some parsley on top for garnish. And that's it. 
we have our flavorful stuffed mushrooms. Now these mushrooms were absolutely delicious. You can eat them with a knife and fork or you can eat them whole. It's whatever your heart desires. As always guys, if you enjoyed this recipe, please let me know in the comments and please like, subscribe and share and enjoy.